Hello everybody, and welcome to this day where I go over, let me move this over a bit, yeah, um, where I go over some of the stuff I've been reading this week, some of the stuff I've been doing this week, yesterday I was supposed to put up the Lovecraft video, but I forgot that my family was coming on Thursday, because they haven't been to the new place yet, and they came up here, <clears throat> And, um, it was stressful, to say the least. So, um, shadow out of time, I'm just going to do next week. I was going to try to rush it today, but I just, fuck it. I'll do it next week, so apologies. Um, some of the things, real quick. Let's go look at the crowdfunding campaign, and guess what? Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened in the last day. So, um, we're at 257, 21% of the goal, six chapbooks bound up in a spiffy, slick looking damn book. There's all sorts of stuff you can get, a bunch of my books together, all sorts of shit. Um, so, I know you want to do it because you're cool as shit, right? Okay, so anyway, um, enough of the shilling. So, I have been um, listening to um, Hunter S. Thompson's Generation of Swine, which is the Gonzo Papers Volume 2, and this goes over um, uh, Carter, Reagan... Um, not a lot of Carter and not a lot of Reagan. It's it's mainly focusing on the end of Reagan and the 88 election, <clears throat> which is cool because I remember that. So, because I'm an old fuck. So, um, seeing how, like, in turmoil the Democratic Party was in 1988 is... Um, just eye-opening. Like, there's so much shit that I did not know at all. So, um, it, it's just super interesting. Um, so that book, I read it. It's fun. Um, if you like that kind of shit, if you like political, um, journalism with a big, strong kick of really weird, drugged-out shit, um, definitely pick that up. Um, and then the, oh shit, this side, the buddy read, group read, read along, read-a-thon of, um, Hunter S. Thompson's <clears throat> Fear and Logan in Las Vegas. Um, I started it the first day and, um, again, like I couldn't put it down and I just finished it in one sitting. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is throughout the next week's I'm just going to pick out some of my favorite bits and talk a little bit about um, those throughout the next couple weeks. So that'll be super fun. Um, and then other than that, I've just been... Uh, I've been listening to a lot of, um, like, first wave ska and reggae a lot. And... Um, on a horribly sad note, uh, yesterday, or was it the day before? I don't know. It, quite recently, um, Bobby Eaton of the Midnight Express, uh, died at 62. And Jody Hamilton, um, from the Assassins died as well. Um, <clears throat> so, yesterday when I wasn't being completely stressed out by my family. Um, I was watching um, a bunch of Midnight Express matches and Bobby Eaton matches. Um, I was going to get to a lot of the Assassin stuff, but I just didn't get to it yet. But um, I watched the entire um, run of the the storyline between um, the Midnight Express and America's team, which was uh, Dusty Rose and Magnum T.A., and um, 
with the James gang and shit like that. Um, it's so fucking good. And the funny thing is, like, I watched, like, fucking three hours of um, matches and promos and all this other shit. And then I never even got to um, the end where they finally got to um, have their big uh, Great American Bash match. So um, I got to... <laughs> I gotta watch that today. It was like 3.30 in the morning, and I'm just like, fuck, I can't do this. But um, that really hit me, dude. Like, the Midnight Express was like... Fuck, dude. Like, easily, like, the the best tag team that's ever existed. Like, me being me, I grew up liking, like, the Road Warriors and Demolition and um, shit like that, but as an adult, like, looking back, you're just like, fuck, dude. Like, the... the moves, the psychology, the storytelling. Um, especially if you watch, like, those house show matches that don't have commentary, and, um... Like, they have to completely play to the crowd, like, and they have to play to the... the last row in the building, you know? So... There was this one... Who were they wrestling? I think they were... It was a Rock and Roll Express. And they did this whole thing where... Um, they kept saying, like, hair was getting pulled. And then they were doing this thing where each team was high-fiving. And the crowd was cheering and booing. And they were getting all pissed off. And then at the end, they tried to do this thing where they were going to choke... Um, <clears throat> Robert Gibson with the fucking shoelace. And... Um, Dennis Condry ended up getting, like, fucked in the ordeal, and he ended up getting pinned. And then they ran off went as winners, but then they were, like, they got up, and they are like, no, like, they used the shoelace and choked me, and they totally tried to, like, turn it around, and the ref didn't know what to do, and he was, like, running back and forth, and the crowd was, like, throwing shit in the ring. They were, like, fucking livid. They're like, no, don't you dare overturn this victory. It's just, like, you don't get that no more. Like, the death of kayfabe, dude, fucking killed everything, man. Like, you cannot get real fucking heat at all like that, dude. So anyway, um, that was just, like, good fun and just, like, good memories and just, like, man. It made me want to, like, go dig out all my, like, pro wrestling illustrateds and, like, start flipping through and just, oh, it's so good. Anyway, um... So that was that, and then uh, <clears throat> tonight, um, I'm probably going to have to do another video just to make sure everyone hears it, because the fact that any book-loving people would sit through ten minutes of me talking about fucking wrestling um, is probably ridiculous, but so tonight, I'm going to do my first drunk stream on Patreon for my Patreon members. Now, the funny thing here is, is that I did this on YouTube before. And YouTube, like, was like, nope, uh-uh, uh, no, like, uh, what was the thing they were saying? There are words in your title and description that, um, have flagged the, I don't fucking know, I can't remember, it was a while ago. So, um, I'm going to do it on Patreon, um, so... Yeah, so any tier, like, you get this. And um, even if you're like, yeah, you know, I like them, but I don't want to fucking give them money. Like, you could sign up right now, and it won't come out until the 1st. So you could spend all month, like, hanging out with me on Patreon and seeing if you like it. And if you don't, then just say, yeah, this isn't for me, and that's fine. Um but, like, I post a lot of my music on there. Um, I've been posting, like, lyrics on there, too. Um, and I've been doing little videos of me doing readings of other people's stuff and shit like that. But, um, so every month I'm going to do a drunk stream. And so it's going to be tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific. Um, so that might be kind of late for a lot of you, but, um. If you're in there, you could watch the replay or whatever. But I would like for you guys to hang out. I mean, shit. Like, 
what, what good is a drunk stream if I'm just sitting here by myself? That's pretty masturbatory. So hopefully that won't be how it is. So um, there's a link down below for the Patreon, and there's a link down below for the Indiegogo. And then if you are on the Patreon and contribute to the um, fingering the mundane thing, you're going to get extra shit. So um, just keep that in mind. And other than that, dude, um, like, that's it. We're good. Um, tomorrow, I, because I haven't even really talked about this, but uh, I've been doing a podcast every week. Um, and so tomorrow I will do the I Hate Matt Wall podcast. And this the audio version of it is on, like, iTunes and on my website and stuff like that. And then um, the video version of it is on Patreon. So, um that's that. That's all the shilling. Um, what What are you guys reading? What did you read this week? Is there anything good? Like, I'm noticing that um, more and more that um, there's a lot of stuff that I have purchased that I've been reading that I really don't like. So, um, what, what are you guys into? Like, give me some fucking recommendations or some shit. So anyway, tonight, 8 o'clock Pacific Time, drunk stream with this dude. Patreon down below, Indiegogo down below, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.